Festival? Where I changed this before I started the game. I went back. To, went back to the default. Okay. That's well, what mine does all the time. Did my audio go back to default? Nope. Did my video go back to default? Nope. Okay. No, it's just your just for, uh, control scheme. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was bored. Nope, no e-break still. Okay, so it won't stick. I'm gonna find out why it won't stick now. Mine was doing that when I first came out. Tried a couple times. To save wheel profile, the active controller must be. The oh, what the hell? They changed it. Okay. Select the uh, default. No, I, I gotta find what button to save on my wheel. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> nope, that's not it. It's, uh, it's annoying that the hub's in PS, PS3. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I don't know which to save it is. So, they changed it because it wasn't like this before. I alt tabbed by accident and the fucking. Force feedback's gone. You what? I alt tapped by accident and the force feedback is gone. That's weird. I don't like that feature. I, I'd like to be able to control with the controller and then drift the wheel. And now I have to freaking use the wheel buttons. Forgiving, but I'll, I'll never tell. I'll never tell until it's uh, spring. Again. Not too too bad. I mean, no, I like what's this message? Uh, business. Ah, I see. Yeah, every time you sign in. Yeah, it's not much it's not though. Fucking lagging. Let's try rigging the tire pressure a little higher. Break gears a little longer. Oh, 
a shot. Either it needs more power or down course, or I don't know anymore. It's hard. It's just hard because summer's gonna, spring's gonna come and then the cars won't handle. I have to retune them all. You can save time. So. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna spend time honing in a tune and then I'm, it's gonna be like, yeah, this is perfect. Spring's coming in the corner. It's a waste of tune. I'll have to redo it. God, screw off with the winter far fine. Jeez. I mean, like, it's, it's a, a bit of an annoying thing to do is keep popping in your face. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm getting the hang of it. out why it's doing that. I don't know if it needs more power or less grip or different tires. It just stops. <laughs> this little spin donut. That classic thing. I think we can go into a private one. I think. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but it might be possible. Like a co-op instead of online. Oh, well that... that so does it do it when you're just playing alone? I don't know why I would... Gang control, man! <laughs> I didn't control, I was kind of No, I was making jokes, because your car looked like it was like... Oh my god! I, <laughs> I see that. I really like to use my drift car, but after seeing it drift, someone else drift it, I didn't know how bad that little visual glitch was. Now I'm kind of self-conscious about it.
think it might need more power somehow. But we'll see when it's not slippery rain. Might not need it. This guy's tandem with me, it's epic! The, uh, 240? Oh, shit! Yeah. That was funny. Hold on, he, he, he used the drift chat thing for convoy. How do you add someone to a convoy? Uh, I don't know. Um, pause, uh, player list or something? What's his name? Japan acid. Okay. Yep. Oh, he just he just there we go. It works. I can't see him. Shit. That's the, only, that's the only problem with tandem is I can't see the guy. Tune. Oh my god, it's really being bad now. This car needs tuning, or not going fast enough to initiate properly. I don't know. I'm trying to tan this guy, but it's, my car doesn't match. It just grips out. This car is not ready for wheel. This sucks. <coughs> yeah, it's like it's the wheel the throttle's not responding how I like it. The throttle seems sticking, the car seems way too slippery in the front end.
I also gotta get a better drift wheel because this one's actually kind of annoying to turn. <laughs> It has all the bumps and the shifters on it, and it's funny. I, need, I actually need to get a 350mm drift, drift wheel. I was actually drifting better with the other car. It's just that it was too unforgiving. This car's forgiving, but it's, it's just all wiggly and all over the place. Weird. Oh, I forgot it was winter. Oh well. I just wanted to play. <laughs> no, I've been wanting to play too. It's just... I, I don't like this a week of winter nonsense. It's like, I wish they could have it set up where if you don't like winter you can just you know say you don't like winter and or have a private lobby to fucking set so fucking hard to initiate drinks with the game right now. I know it's all I use now. It's actually a partial reason why I never bothered drifting before, too, is it's just really hard that a handbrake. You don't have to. Uh, you grab the shifter from uh, the sequential shifter, right, that came with that wheel, and then you just solder it to the A, a button of the wheel. Everyone does that. One guy actually had a clever idea. He used a f headphone jack, so you can unplug the handbrake. I was I was gonna do that a long time ago. That was gonna be my one of my last mods, because once you do that, it voids the warranty, right? Well, you've already ripped your wheel apart. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like when I took my wheel off the rim, I didn't void the warranty. Eh? I actually read the t I read the terms and stuff. Because I didn't take apart the wheel, all I did was take the rim off the wheel. It's all I did, right? So the war warranty wasn't voided. As soon as you solder something to the thing, it's, war it's warranty is voided, but th that wheel's way past its warranty by now. And you've already taken the wheel apart. Where do you even have the casings left for that wheel? Yeah, it's in the box. Really? That's everything I still have everything for. It. That's freaking hilarious. Okay, I got a great fucking tune right now, I just need a hammer. Because I'm reaching over and placing A with my other hand, and getting into the really fucking Yeah, I mean, I want to move my handbrake for easier access, but at the same time, I like it there because it's supposed to be a car, right? It's not supposed to be a drift, drift machine or anything, it's supposed to be an actual car. And it'll work better with my my dashboards in because it'll actually make more sense. But I don't know. Maybe it is a bit of a reach. I might I might move it a little bit. We'll see. I can't tell you your car. What? I can't hear your car. Huh. Oh. he left. Maybe. Well, like, I think at the start... Oh, okay. No, it's a different person. Yeah, I think that guy thought we were really good drifters, and like, haha, <laughs> then I, I kept messing up and he left. <laughs> like, aw. Side face.
like this one. What? Huh? I think I'm gonna leave work at noon tomorrow. Yeah. Because they know I don't like doing full days, and I don't have to do full days on Saturdays. It's money. Yeah, no, twenty-two an hour. Pretty good money. Yeah, but come home at lunch and fucking get with that uh. Yeah. I mean, it won't be a, like a, I can half load my handbrake, which is kind of fun, but it'll, it's not really necessary. No, I just need something that I can activate and set up a tiny little Yeah, no, that shifter makes sense. It, actually, if you use uh, three-quarter piping, whether it be PVC or copper or whatever, you just, you can modify a little handle if you really want to, because the shifter is kind of tiny if you wanted more, more, more throw out of it. That's that was the common mod for a lot of people on that wheel, because all you have to, you solder the I mean it becomes the A button so forever, so you gotta make sure whatever game you're playing, you gotta make sure the A button is the break. I could uh, put a like a multi position switch on it and use it common ground. Oh, uh, that's that's that is. That is possible, but you might damage cross interfering with uh, with the other buttons, and then all your buttons it activate at the same time or something stupid. Not if you use a switch to change the button. No, no, I know, but I mean, like I'm saying, like the switch might interfere with the buttons. I mean, it might it might get all glitchy. Yeah, it could. Ah. I gotta admit, I don't know if it's because it's winter or something, but like my GPU, when I was recording last time, I was getting like 40 FPS, and now it's not bad. I'm still getting 60 across the board. What was causing it to be so slow last time? That does suck though, cause I don't understand why. Like, how, what's your DB you test? Did a bench test yet? Your connection? Cause to, for that to happen, you must be getting below 20 down, below five up. Which that sucks, cause you were getting 200 down the last house. It was happening up, up um, seven or five too. No, no, no. That your mom's house. I meant your stepmom's. Mom's steps. Yeah. Definitely was way out of that corner. Ah. It sucks. Summer right now in this game. Oh, this car is nice. What happened? Okay, it's connection. Because when you were just talking, you were all fucking choppy. Yeah. So your downloads are hitting because you're talking fine. Like you're not glitching for me. So it's it's your download. You should do a speed test and see if you're at sometime. Oh, it's a skill song. <laughs> cool.
then there's there's definitely a problem with your bandwidth. Ports, whatever it is, dynamic. You're not on static port anymore. Who knows? Something. Like if it's if it's the signal coming to your house, there's nothing you can do, buddy. You're screwed. Because you're not. It's probably not a direct line coming to your house. It's probably dates chained. And getting a powered cable end won't help because that actually causes more issues for internet. You should never boost your. You know, you boost your cable. Yeah. You you never should check your internet for that because it actually causes more issues. You want to have a direct line. Two down, two. Wait, two, two down? down? Oh, I was gonna say. Because <laughs> that for the longest time, eh, my uh, my internet problem was because they're doing construction in my area. The um, the internet was point zero upload. Mm -hmm. It was unplayable. I had two hundred down, no problem. Screwed. Couldn't do anything about it. I, I just beat my personal best score on that trip, so interesting. Wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, you definitely gotta try this one day. Like, when you get... I know I'm working this Saturday, which sucks, but I mean, like... Someday after work, you just gotta, you gotta come over and take a look at this. It's freaking hilarious. It's a lot easier in in the dry, though. I mean, I'm getting the hang of it now, but it's still a lot easier in the dry. Yeah. I'm kind of using my with my hands right now. I just love the feel. I can feel the wheel where, where the wheel's going, what it's doing. It's awesome. Like it's not it's not me. My my arms just kind of flobbing around, following the wheel by itself. So it's kind of funny. It looks like I'm doing it myself, but I'm I'm not. <laughs> like, I'll go a turn, right, and it, the wheel jacks the one, or yanks the one direction, and my, my hand just kind of follows along. You reset your real settings? Well, as long as it's on 900 degree rotation. Oh, in the game! Yeah, you gotta take off that crappy one thing that I, that I showed you. The understeer, oversteer, the understeer, whatever it is, effect. You don't want any understeer effects because then the wheel goes limp and you can't drift. I guess if I upload this video, I should probably. People will probably ask what my settings are, so. I might as well just show them. Yeah. Put a comment in my, uh, in my video. Go to this time to see the settings to my wheel. How about no? Uh, do do. Looking at my settings. Do do do. <laughs> do do do. Do do do. So yeah, the, the the most important one is the force feedback understeer. That's that makes the biggest difference. Other than that, I think my my settings are almost stock. To mm. be honest. I only adjust a little bit here and there, but the force feedback understeer was the biggest one. For sure. I also have difficulty steering normal, not simulation because it's too intense. You were too intense. I mean, I could try manual with clutch now, but this car doesn't have a. It's a sequential box anyway, so. Don't really need yeah. to. I really should put my shifter in sequential mode, but. My mounting system doesn't really make it easy anymore for that. There it is. There. Sequential box. Okay.
I really hope this stream mode music station is not copyrighted. That would be a stupid. Well, I'm really off the scale now. Oh boy. I ah, screwed that up. Getting the hang of this now. Sort of. Okay. okay. What'd you do? I said, or am I? Or am I? Oh. Oh my. I, I actually have a design flaw with my shifter because the sequential's now there. I go to reach for my my e brake and I hit the shifter with my elbow. It's like ah, you're not elbow, I'm wrist. It's like ah, shit. So now I have to subconsciously remember to reach over the shifter for the e brake. Yeah, I, I I like the e brake there, but at the same time it doesn't feel like I really I really want it here, but the seats are too. I'd have to move the whole cup holder assembly over more. You know, you know what a regular e brake is on this side of the, on your side of the shifter and. I have on the other side. I don't know. I don't know what to do. All of the things. It just sucks because if you if I put it here, it'd be perfect. But then it just it'd be there all the time in the way. Beside my wheel, like right beside where my mic is. It's like imagine where your you know your where your amp and keyboard and mouse is. Imagine the shifter sticking up right there. It's just it works for drifting, but then compromises the setup I'm going for. Because I gotta put the dashboard in one of these days. I really am gonna do it. <laughs> it's been it's been so long. I went and checked I found a I found an email like archived a while back and I was like, oh my god, it was the message to the guy about the dashboard. And it was like 2014. I just laughed my ass off. Like I've had that dashboard for that long. Like holy moly. I know. I never I mean, I have you. I don't know if you still have the steering console for it, the cluster. Because uh, like, my whole goal was to like with that Porsche wheel was to use the hinges and all that. But when I found out that that wheel was not strong enough for that, you would lose way too much feedback if I did that. It would be cool, but at the same time, it would just be stupid. So. Not even direct drive. Like direct drive, you'd still lose a lot of the feeling out of the direct drive. It'd make a direct drive feel like a, a belt wheel. Yeah. Like you, like it's the the hinge on that on that steering column is way too hard. But it would be a cool concept for cruising a cruising vehicle, but. Uh, anyway, so yeah. I, other than that, I have the gauge cluster, which won't work. Let's face it. I mean, I will. I will t get the lights working and stuff, and maybe the radio working, because that's not really hard. I have. I have a whack of little power supplies handy for that. It's just. Um, yeah, it's just that steering column I can't use. I didn't use the e-brake at all there. It's funny, I still remember, uh, subconsciously, I'll start to initiate drift without the e-brake, and I forget I have the e-brake. Mm, gotta use it. If I keep my hand on the e-brake, I, I pull it whenever I need it, but... Ah, no!
I love how the e-brake saves my drifts. You rip it and hold it. And it's like, there we go. I mean, if you get to that corner right, you don't even need knee brakes. No. This the corner I just passed. You're not actually following me anymore. I just realized. You're a what? That's lunch. Oh. Uh, you said that. <coughs> no, I can't jump this Lining. Fourth is too tall, third is too short. Yeah. Like we're both just favorably. Yeah, my I don't really I, I made my third gear a little taller and I made my fourth gear really short. But I don't actually use fourth gear after that often anymore. I, I I feel like I feel like I'm I'm more comfortable in third now. Let's try fourth right now here. I mean, yeah, it's not, not too bad. Yeah, so, yeah, you kind of go off course a little bit in fourth. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll make third a little taller and fourth a little bit shorter. Look at this, just... I mean, I barely touch the wheel anymore. It just goes by itself. I'm not moving. Wheel side. Whee! Love it. Yeah, in terms in terms of size of my wheel, I mean, it's just it's mostly except for shock, but it's mostly just default. You yeah. might. Wait, why is my drift off? Hmm? Did I turn drift off for this thing? Uh, I thought you had it at like 2 or something. I did have it at 2. Maybe I changed it. Ah, uh, there we go. Dropped my tire PS slide. Oh, fucking lag. <laughs> Dropped my tire PS slide. There you go. I, f I find I like the tire pressure bulging. Yeah. I don't like... You get more control, but I find I grip out more. But it depends if you need it. If you're if you're spinning out of control, then you need to turn down a little bit. Yeah, my issue is... I yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, all, all drift mode does is make the wheel a little bit more twitchy. Like that. Yeah. Other than that... Maybe I turned it off because I didn't want it doing that. It makes it more responsive though, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna try one. Why not? You have arrived at your destination. It still does that weird glitch, but whatever. I noticed last time with uh, that video we made. By the way, I still haven't fucking figured it out. I think I've lost that footage forever. Oh, the recording issue. Man, I, I I could upload it raw, but I can't do any edit editing to it at all. Because um, I have the game, I got the game recorded, but because the format was wrong, I tried converting it. Adobe will load it as green, like all green and wrecked and like pixelated. It's like it's if you can tell it's wrong. Something happened with yeah. the compression, it's completely wrong. 
And uh, I was like, well, shit. So I recorded it again and, re and recorded it on OBS while playing on my computer in real time. I just re-recorded it. Like, that's all I did. Now it works. The problem is, because it wasn't compressed right, it's it's running in, like, 60 frames and 40 and then 60 and back to 30 and 20 and 60. And it's all it's really hard to watch. And it's just like, I mean, if I can stabilize it in, after, in, uh, in Premiere, at least for 30 FPS viewing, and then get my webcam put in, I'll be fine. But now my webcam footage is doing the same thing. So I have to get my webcam footage, re record that. It was a stupid, I shouldn't have done it. I don't know why I did it that way. I mean, I'm recording it right now with just all in one. Like I can drag the cam anywhere I want. And I shouldn't have done it two separate in in instances or what do you want to call it. That was a mistake. So yeah, now I'm kind of just like, what do I do? <laughs> It's been a nightmare with that recording. And the first recording of us drifting was just garbage. Like, it was really bad. I'm gonna see if I can... I'll see if I can upload it, but... The, uh... My voice quality was, like... As soon as you started talking or I was driving my car in game, you could barely hear me. So my, my mic wasn't working properly. And then... I also noticed something in my... In the recording that I had to re-record. I noticed every time I sh uh, shifted gears... It was so bassy, the mic was cracking. Like, is every time I shift, is, was it doing that for you? Nope. Like, if I do this? Yeah. Yeah, in the recording, it was like... I'm like, holy fuck! It's so bassy! And, like, my voice in the game would crackle, because the bass from whatever... My pedals, my footwork, or the shifter, whatever it was, was so intense that it was making the audio crack. So actually, that turn likes fourth more. Yeah, this one likes third more. This one likes third more. Pretty much all of them I do in third, but that last one, I can do it in third. I just red line. Yeah. Like my gear, I, I tuned my third gear. It's just short enough to do this little small turns, but it's just long enough to do that long turn. So, but it still red lines all the time. Like I'm always, I'm always near the red line. Like six, six, six or seven thousand RPM. I'm always sitting at while drifting. I don't like that glitch. That's the one thing about drift mode on these wheels I've never understood. Like it, if I turn that off, shit. I mean, it still does it a little bit. I don't know what, why it does that. Anyway, oh, the uh, S2000. That's one thing I noticed. It was on the dash. It actually reads out the engine. Yeah. So is my car. New current. Uh, Yeah. Mine does that too. I used to do it on other cars. Oh. This one is. Well, this is a drift car. It has, yeah, it has the old temperatures on it. Yeah, but do they check? Uh, I don't know. I haven't. I've never looked down and check. Yeah, it does with the S2000. Well, it does in the S2000. It, it, it will in the other ones. Technically, it should. Focusing on looking at my dashboard, I'm not concentrating at the walls. <laughs> anyway, How's your drifting going back there? No! Damn it! Hello! I went in with not enough throttle.
Yeah, sorry I'm not turning around. I just like going this direction. Because some of the turns don't really feel nice going the other way. God, I wish I could fix that. That's the only thing I hate about this. You can't see it, but I'm pointing at it in my video. It's just, it's, it's that drift mode effect where you turn the wheelie quick and it just bounces back and forth in the center. Oh, yeah. It, now, I have my drift mode off. Like, I turned that drift mode off and it's still doing it. So it's just like, is my spring too powerful? I mean, I don't want to change anything because it feels so good. Drifting. I'm sorry! No, you're not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But still. E brake! No, you don't. I caught it this time. Oh, you, oh my god. You saved me. <laughs> Did you hit a wall? No, like, drifting. Oh, <laughs> It's like, I'm doing it! Grip, shit! <laughs> wall. <laughs> Top. <coughs> Ow! If I what? If you're looking in your mirror, you just saw me. I know, I can't. I can't see you when I'm in this cock of you. Just makes you makes you wonder, like shit, like how do the hell the real drifters do it? I mean, obviously they can look out their window, but it's just crazy. Especially when there's smoke everywhere, you can literally not see each other. I know for a fact, if I had VR, drifting would be amazing because I can see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I can look at the person beside me and shit. It would be kind of cool. I mean. There's no reason why Forza on the PC shouldn't have VR support. Yeah, that, that would be really cool if they add, added that, because... I, mean, I think... For, does Forza 7 have it? I don't remember. I don't Project Cars and Center Forza have it, so... They don't have to implement too much, because you don't have to stand up or do anything. It's You're just... It's just... No, it's just... Turn the camera. Yeah, all I have to do is lock the horizon, and then... So you can look around. And it's snowing, I just realized. Yep. Like hardcore snowing. Don't go wide. Yeah, go like that. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love a I love your gaming moment! <laughs> At the end of that. <laughs> you gotta put that in. <laughs> gaming moment! Anyway. I should probably stop recording because I forgot I was recording this whole time. Holy moly, two and a half hours. Yep. Okay.